Hey, welcome back to the Fab Lab. It is time to set up the Anycubic S1. All right, welcome back. My name is David Wirtz for Advanced Geekery and you are in the Fab Lab, which is great for working with the 3D printers and very tight for filming. So we're gonna be working things out, trying to set this thing up and show you what we're doing. This program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind the scenes updates on my projects, and must watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own projects spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part, subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait, click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. All right, when we last left off with the Anycubic S1, we had taken it out of the box and pulled all the parts out, pulled the ACE unit off, off of it and left it there. And then I proceeded to spend months trying to get the Cobra 3 up and running. Uh, I needed to replace a motherboard. I needed to replace the hot end. It took forever to get it up and running. And I was also waiting for a new version of the Anycubic Slicer that would allow me to send things to the Cobra. Now that that's done, I can focus back in on the S1 and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set it up. When I last uh, worked with it, I had taken out, there's some screws that are inside. Let me bring this in a little bit. There are screws in three corners of the build plate here and here and in the back. And I had taken those out. What I did not do is I did not take out a piece of styrofoam in the back, uh, which is where the poop chute goes. So I did that and now we're ready to put the rest of it together, which is really setting up the ACE unit up on top and making sure it works. So that's mostly what we're gonna be doing today is mostly ACE unit setup. But first thing I'm gonna do is take the cover material off of here. So we have plastic off the back, and there appears to be, well, that's just dust. I was going to say there appears to be plastic on the front, but that's just dust. Okay, and we are using, uh, my wife made me this nice little cover to go on top of the Glowforge, so I can use the Glowforge as a table when I need it, because uh, this room doesn't have any, it has one workbench, and that's it. Okay, so. Let's see, we want to take the, we want to put the ACE unit together. So, and I also am going to add a poop chute, which I'll show you in a bit. So let's, uh, let's bring the ACE unit down here for a moment and get everything out of the ACE unit and take the plastic off. And then we'll come back. We also take the plastic off the top. We'll come back and we'll set it up. So there's the plastic off the top. I'll put that over here. I didn't have the foresight to bring a trash can over here. There's apparently, what I really like, by the way, about the Ace is that this is plastic. Most of the other printers of its class are glass, and that worries me. I just feel a lot more comfortable with plastic. So that's back there. This is back in the corner. And an instruction sheet which I've only just found because it was underneath everything about how to set it up, but we're, we're past that point. All right. Inside the ACE unit, which slides open because we've done this already once, we have the various tubes we need. And, huh, that's kind of cool various tubes we need, and then this little box, a wireless speaker kit that is basically a mini S1. That'll be fun. All right. So now that I have this stuff out of here, I guess I want to put the AC unit back up on top. Oh, there's some foam up here. Let's get rid of that too. Yeah, there we go. So let's put this back up on top. And also, let's bring this over a little bit. 
Apparently there's also side plastic on this side and side plastic on that side. I think we're now done with all the little plastic bits. Okay, let's put this back up here. And I'll move this out of the way. All right, so let's look at our box. Bring this over. Inside the box is a power cord. Uh, a number of a second power cord. Okay. Oh yeah, because this needs to be powered. The ACE unit needs to be powered, as does the uh, printer itself. A bag of activated carbon. Um, power. Uh, a uh, control connector. Whoops. A nozzle cleaning module, which I guess I'm going to have to install at some point. Screws for the filament hub. The filament hub. Some lubricant. Little tiny cool plastic things. The filament hub, which also has a cable, which is where the second cable is. and a uh, mount for an individual spool. So let's start with the activated charcoal because it's fairly simple. That's where the activated charcoal goes. I guess jam the bag. Inside there, which is not the best fit in the world, but hey, so be it. And then, there, wedge, push it in, not thrilled with that, not at all thrilled with that, but it's in, and there's clearance, so I think we're good. All right, well, I think that's it for what's inside this thing. I think the rest is all on the back, so let's pull this out and rotate it around and start uh, working on the back of this. This, by the way, is why I have rolly carts. Makes this process way easier. There we go. All right, and this is kind of good because you can see from here what I'm doing. And you can see from there what I'm doing. All right, so let's start with attaching the, um, the multi-filament module which has two little square pieces and a screw point, and they, they kind of center to here, and then the bolts go in. So let's grab those. Okay, so those go, they're, they're sort of set points. All right. Now I'm looking at this. If you look real close, you should be able to see that there is that this is six, and there's a six and a four. So the only way that can go is there. So we'll get that in there. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is. Take this and punch it into here, which should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, that is in there. Okay, so now we come to the part that I grew to hate the last time, which are these little U-shaped uh, things that are really hard to get in and out. Uh, I practiced a little bit, so I might be a little bit better, but they're still not my friend. The challenge is going to be, I've got these four tubes, they go in here, and they'll go down here. But first, I have to remove these blue things, and I hate these blue things. I truly hate these blue things. 
All right. Well, that came out fairly simple. All right. Maybe, maybe my life is turning around. We'll know. We'll find out. Help the second one. See, if only the tab was just a little further away or a little longer, it would be easy to get, easier to get to. There we go. So now let's put the four tubes in. Do one at a time. And I hope it likes us. All right. It went in. What you hear in the background is my dog, who is currently freaking out. He does not like the FedEx truck at all. He doesn't like the UPS person at all. But when the FedEx truck goes by, whether or not there's actually um, a package for us, he goes nuts. He can sense the FedEx truck more than any of the other trucks. So he does not like the FedEx truck. All right, let's put another one in. Just put up the dog barking. I have to put up with pixel barking. You have to put up with pixel barking. That's just all there is going to be to it. All right, there's two. Three. And... Four, and now we got to get the the little black, the little blue things back on, and that might work a little easier. Let's try it. Yeah. Uh, all right, hang on a second. Okay, I'll be back. As you can, you might have heard, I've been called to take a look at something, so I'll be back. Okay, so I am back. Working from home rocks, but occasionally home stuff happens in the middle of filming. <laughs> so I'm back. The camera angles may be slightly different because to get out the door, I had to move the camera. And I'm going to resume attempting to put the little blue things on the holders here and uh, try not to use any profanity while doing so. All right, that blue thing just does not want to go in. I mean, it, it, it just does not want to go in. I mean, look, I am pushing hard and I'm afraid I'm going to break the whole thing. See? And if I pull it out, again, I'm really pushing. So I think I'm going to skip the blue things, which were my bane of existence last time. And I just, I don't see a reason for them. I have one more cable up on top. This one's four on one piece and six on the other. But since we only have one four on the bottom, I'm going to put the six up here. Like so. All right. And then I might as well put the power up there. Since you're seeing me do it, so I'll drop the power up there as well. We can do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is connect these guys into here. So you can see there are four connectors down there. I've already put one tube in, and I'm going to do the others, and then we'll continue with the next step. So this distribution unit is essentially the same mechanism that the Cobra 3 uses, just flipped over. Okay, so we have these little guide stars, which I want to put on next. There's actually five guides, but there's only four tubes, so we'll, we'll do it that way. Okay, now I did not yet connect this down to here, so let's plug this in. Okay, so that's in there. We're technically done building, but there's one more thing I'm going to do which is I am going to attach the poop chute, which goes like that. It probably means I need to move the whole unit over a little bit, but for now we're good. And that means I have to take out... And the designer is rightfully proud of the fact that He's got fan vents here and a hole here so that the tool can get in to screw in the screw. The designer has a right to be proud of it. That's very cool. All right, so let's start with the top one, the first one. 
That's pretty snug. It's going into plastic, so I don't want to over tighten it. Now that's the chute itself with a little hooky thing. And it snaps in like that. So, like so. And as you can see, boom. So it's a pretty neat design. I will, as I said, I want to move the printer this way just a tiny bit. Um, but we are ready to power it up. So let's, let's get this thing powered up, prove it works, and then uh, I'll come back with printing something. Theoretically, we're all set. And we're in to start printing. Now, I haven't put any filament in yet, so that's going to be the next step. But we're in, and that'll be it for the moment. <laughs> so Pixel was not entirely thrilled with being left alone, so I've got him in here. I may have to voice over this because he's also sitting on the microphone, but this is Pixel. Say hi to everybody. Hi there. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, all right, all right. He uses my baby. That's Pixel. Yeah, that's my boy. Yes, isn't that nice? That's the printer. Check it out. Yeah, see? Kind of cool, huh? So we're going to go back into the other room. And hopefully we'll settle down now that we had to. We got a chance to see what Daddy was up to, right? Right, huh? Who's the little boy? Who's the little boy? Yeah, that's Pixel. Okay, we'll be back. All right, so there you go. For Advanced Geekery, my name is David Gewertz. Go out and make something awesome. And stay tuned. We'll have more on the S1 coming shortly. Bye-bye.